Today, SpaceX made its fourth attempt to launch and then land its Falcon 9 rocket on a platform out in the ocean. The liftoff from Vanderburg Air Force Base in California was a success, but the landing didn't work out so well. CBS News space consultant Bill Harwood is in Florida. He joins us now. Bill, what happened? Well, Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX, tweeted shortly after landing that apparently one of the four landing legs on the stage failed to lock in place. So when the rocket touched down, it tipped over on its side. And what happened after that, we don't know yet. We didn't ever see any video. Uh, but that sounds like a pretty straightforward engineering problem to resolve. And I think that uh, they're in pretty good shape here. You know, they made it back down to this landing barge. They were on target. He said the speed was good. They just had a problem with a landing leg. So I'm sure they'll work that out and try it again pretty soon. Does that mean that the rocket was likely damaged beyond repair or? Oh, yeah. I think if it fell over, it probably exploded. But again, we haven't seen any video, so there's no way to confirm the, the, the health or status of the rocket. But, but certainly it would have been extensively damaged. And, you know, we know that the actual liftoff was a success and that satellite should be going into orbit. If you can, just briefly uh, tell us what that satellite is going to be able to do. Right, and you know, you're exactly right. The primary goal was not landing the rocket stage. It was getting the Jason 3 satellite into orbit, and that all went off by the book. Uh, Jason 3 is an international project between the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration in the U.S., the French Space Agency, and a European uh, weather satellite organization. And the idea is to continue monitoring the Earth's sea level. Uh, they're trying to understand the long-term rise in sea levels, which, of course, is an indicator of global warming, uh, and also by studying wind currents and speeds and things like that, uh, they hope to better be able to predict extreme weather like tornadoes, hurricanes, uh, you know, El Nino, those sorts of things. So it's a, it's a very significant payload for uh, the meteorological community. And we now know that the solar arrays have, have unfolded as planned and the, space, the spacecraft is in good shape. So that's all good news on that front. Okay, CBS News space consultant Bill Harwood, thanks so much. We appreciate it. Sure thing.